Take any home, your home, set it aglow with the magic of music. Then watch as it opens a new world of fun and enjoyment for you and your family. It's RCA Victor's brilliant new best of 57 albums, including the artistry of... Frankie Carl in his building adventures in music around the world. Fabulous Lena Horn sings love songs in her Stormy Weather album. Fire of Belafonte as he sings of the Caribbean. Free and easy Perry Como in his special request album, We Get Letters. Look for Perry's bright RCA Victor display with the best of 57 albums in your choice of long play or the 45 economy package at your RCA Victor dealers now. and uh, I own BPM Records. When we first opened, we concentrated on dance music and indie music, as well as chart uh, products. Um, and basically, as, as we evolved, we concentrated more on dance music. And probably for probably about 15, 20 years, we were more of a dance specialist than anything else. We closed our Derby store um, due to the fact that the the, the guy who had the shop next door to us wanted the unit. So basically at the time it was getting a little bit difficult as well due to the fact that downloading had started to kick in and we also knew that the uh, Intu Centre was about to open. So it was a good time to basically downsize. So we closed our Derby store um, after about 20 years of business. We then reopened um, about seven years ago now. Um, and it was the reason we reopened. It was basically, they had, all the record stores had closed down in Derby. There was nothing left. And I felt that there was a market for an independent store again. And to be honest, it was one of those, do I join the real world and actually get a proper job or do I reopen BPM? So we reopened BPM and uh, luckily enough, it's been good since. So my name is Aaron Authors. Um, I've been collecting records for the 10 years roughly. Um, quite an avid collector of different styles, anything from sort of jazz through to death metal. I've collected CDs for years beforehand, um, but then I used to start going to gigs and I used to buy band t-shirts every gig I went to. And then I went to see a band called um, Aborted and they had this really cool um, artwork on an LP. They didn't have a CD of it, but the CD was in with the LP, so I really wanted the CD. So I bought the LP and then I got home and thought this is pretty cool and then it spiralled out of control. <laughs> There's loads of things online where you can see that they're scientifically proven to be better sounding and all that sort of thing. Um, but I like the physicality of it, I like the artwork of them, um, the feel. It's nice to actually have something in your hands that you've paid some money for. Um, when I was younger I used to spend more money on going out and partying and things. And you'd see your pay slip and you think, what did that go on? Well, now I can see what my payslip goes on. I think, personally, it's a warmer sound um, and it is more collectible. Um, and I do think if you listen to your own ears, it's a, it's a, it's a different sound. My name is 
it's uh, Sean Turner. Um, I run a company called Vinyl Chaser Records, um, mostly online, um, but also I do other people's record fairs, and this is my own, which I started over a year ago. Nottingham Record Fair really is always wants to do one on my own. Um, and I did go to the, um, the YMCA record fair, which you know years ago in the 80s. So um, I, I did want to try and recreate, yeah, the sort of magic that was around at the time. I just wanted people to bring people together in our community, where they can, uh, yeah, people know each other. They can come and share their experiences and and, and other stuff like that. I think I think people uh, of, of a, a generation below mine are starting to inherit their parents' uh, collections, uh, and I think that there's been a move. Although for some of us, vinyl never went away, uh, but I think people really appreciate the the, the the ability to look at things not just as music, but as an artifact, the sleeve, uh, perhaps sleeve notes things of interest like that. I just think people love, you know, they love vinyl, they're, they're addicted to it, they can't, you know, not have it. And more people want it, younger people are starting to buy vinyl again, because they've obviously, like, their parents have told them about it because of the revival. And it, uh, just everybody's gone mad on vinyl at the minute. I do find over the last few years more and more young people buy records, which I think is great because it's, uh, I think it's more refreshing for a shop to have that kind of uh, customer base rather than just a lot of, lots of old people coming in and buying records. I'd say with why it's popular, maybe because with streaming being the most popular way that youngsters or youngers, younger generations listen to music, there's there is no physicality, so you, your favourite album you may have listened to 10, 20, 30 times a week, a month, whatever. Um, without buying it, you don't own the album. So I think it's that sort of thing that makes younger kids want to go and collect records. Vinyl's more um, special than a CD um, one, probably because there's more they can do with it. A CD is always going to be a CD shape. It's always going to have a booklet, it's always going to be, it's kind of a stuck in the same way. Whereas with vinyl, they kind of do extras with it. So like for instance, you're not going to get a CD that's shaped like that. So this one's cut into like a, a, a flower shape, just so it looks like a flower. Um, different colours they can do, so you end up with some records that are black, some are yellow, green, splatter like the one was before. There's just more things they can do with it. Some come with bigger booklets, you get books involved, box sets, things like that. Um, which, you know, boils down to the nerd in me that likes collecting little bits and bobs. Searching for records, you need a lot of patience, um, a lot of time, uh, a lot of pairs of jeans. <laughs> get plenty of holes in there from digging in crates and uh, and everything else. So uh, now just get out there and look, that's basically it. And that's half the fun of it, is looking. Once you've got it, it's a kind of anticlimax climax, because then you've got to find something else. Yeah, vinyl is still relevant today. Um, it's kind of gone full circle, I suppose. Um, bands, smaller bands now put their stuff on vinyl because they figure out that people like to collect things. I would say look after them. <laughs> Make sure that they, uh, you know, you, you put them back in their inner sleeves and just buy the collection that you want to listen to. You don't have to buy thousands of records. Buy the records you really, really want. So this is my favorite record. This is um, Grey Britain by Gallows, which is Frank Carter's first band. Pretty, um, Pretty seminal in sort of 2000s punk. Um, as you can see, it's nice grey red splatter. Um, it was only one pressing, so it was quite limited. It now fetches quite a lot of money, um, but it kind of has a sentimental value to, to me as um, when I first got with my partner. It was the first record she bought me, so she, so that's why it's kind of got a, a sentimental side to it, and it's also one of my favourite albums. 
Occasionally you'll buy a record collection and you'll find an album in there that you didn't even know was rare. A lot of old collectors, if it's rare, they'll pay any sort of money for it. Um, I've sold plenty for over £100 each. And I think I've got something like about $4,500 for it. Probably you too, test pressing years ago, about £10,000. I don't usually spend that much. I don't have the money to spend that much. Quantity over quality, maybe. There's only so far you can go with technology and downloading, and I think it's reached the peak where people are going back to the roots of where music came from again. Some friends start buying records, their friends start buying records, and it just that, that big knock on effect. It's amazing how it has changed. It's gone from people downloading and buying CDs to buying vinyl, and I think uh, vinyl will outlast CDs, to be honest. If you're into vinyl, it, it, you can't explain it, it's just something inside. I grew up with records, my parents had records, my grandparents had records. Um, my kids now see that my records and think that's where music comes from. So I imagine it will continue to go on until they find a format that sounds as good and is as collectible.